gosh, what an absolutely That's massive play to the play. Game. Is he going to get the one shot? He gets the one hit KO! Hey everybody, welcome back to Fight for First. Uh, crazy close battle last game uh, that Scizor really pulled through for us with. Uh, so did that Toga Kiss. It was just great. It was just great. We had, um, luck was on our side. Even though we missed a swagger, luck ended up being on our side with a nice flinch and a nice crit. Uh, both those things we needed to come back. But we also were making the right plays to make those, you know, those, you know, hacksy game decisions to tip the battle back in our favor. So, um, whew, it was definitely close. It was definitely close. Melodic, a uh, huge problem for this team. I see that now. We should actually probably write that down. But Melodic, big problem. Um, hopefully we don't find another one. At least when I had Bisharp instead of the Scizor, I could, you know, hit it and then Assurance it or hit it and then knock it off and do a lot of damage that way. But we don't have that option to us anymore. But Scizor ended up taking uh, that role from Bisharp. That's kind of what he's there for. He's that Steel type. And uh, he was able to, you know, handle it. He was able to handle it. We're back. We're in the 1700s. Nice. Uh, on, on our way up, hopefully. Hopefully. But, uh, oh gosh, what is this? California. It's looking pretty tough. Give me a second. I'm not writing it down. I had to write something down from um, to remind myself something. Nice. Okay, how are we going to get rid of this? That Zapdos is definitely going to be the speed controller. He's got an Amoongus. Uh, doesn't look like he's got Trick Room. He's just got some slower options. I'm really tempted to lead with my Meow Stick. And that's what I'm going to do. I'm so tempted. I'm going to do it. Um, the thing is, Sylveon is such an issue. I really want to lead something against it, but I can't lead a Scizor into Zapdos. And I don't really want to lead Landorus into Zapdos either. So I'm considering leading Terrakion, but if I do that... I'm really opening myself to a lot of problems. Uh, I might just go Toga Kiss, actually. Well, I'm really going to have to pull exactly what he's going to start with here, because otherwise we're going to be in a lot of trouble. Uh, honestly, I'm going to. I might just lead Landris just to lose it, to be honest. And then Phelan, Scizor, Kangaskhan. Although Togekiss does do quite a bit of work here. Kangaskhan and... No, let's do Scizor. Let's just do it. Uh, I really wish I had room for Togekiss here, but it might not work out. This one's going to be a little bit tough because... The guys I like to lead, you know, Togekiss or whatever, uh, it's going to be stopped by that Zapdos, which is doing the same thing for him. So, quite a good Pokemon. The only thing Togekiss I really think is, you know, besides the better typing, I think Togekiss has a better typing, especially to protect something like a Kangaskhan, but the Zapdos is obviously going to have, uh, you know, its electric typing to stop Togekiss, but it doesn't have re redirection, so to each their own. But it does also have that HP Ice, which would really threaten my own Landorus. Here's the thing, though, starting my Landorus... It's awesome, awesome, awesome. It's going to intimidate both of these guys. So that's good. I'm in red power. Hold on. Okay. Uh, I would love nothing more than to get up a big thunder wave here onto his Kangaskhan. So I'm going to try that. And then I'm going to... Uh, do I want a rock slide? Or do I want a superpower? Superpower for big damage? Yeah, let's just double into this Kangaskhan. He's going to fake out one. So let's just do the damage right now while we can. Okay, so he's going to switch out. That's a good move. Conkelder is about to... Oh, gosh. Not great. Not great. Because he's going to take the Thunder Wave. Oh, and it's Protect. Wow. Okay, so now he's going to... I'm boosting the guts. This was a great play by my opponent here. Um, maybe I'm going to start writing down my opponent's teams. Because I should have just remembered he had Conkelder. Conkelder is a great status sponge. Switch in. Take... Stuff like this, and then become monstrous. Um, so we're gonna have to switch out our Landorus now. Uh, I got two routes here. I can swagger the Conkelder and hope for the best, or I can charm it and weaken it. I might just charm it. Uh, 
Uh, well, the odds would be in my favor with the swagger, though, huh? But I could seriously, seriously lose something. So it's probably better just to weaken it. He's going to knock me off. Will I survive that? No, I probably won't. I'm going to swagger him. I'm going to swagger him for the odds. 50% uh, and the 25%. It'll probably do me. Um, because I don't think I could stop it otherwise. So I'm switching in the Scizor because I got I to gotta get rid of this Conkleder before it does too much. And I think even if I charmed it, it the knockoff will KO the Meowstic anyway and I'm not going to be in any better of a situation. Well, I missed the Swagger, so no big deal. You turn onto my Meowstic. Yeah, Meowstic's going to go down. Yes, it's gonna go down. This is looking like really bad already. This is we're in a really bad situation, team. Really bad. There's the Zapdos, which I assume now. Does, do you think it has Heat Wave? It might. Drain Punch. Onto Scissor Spot for a lot of damage. Well, we've seen all four now, though at least. Um. I really wanted to... Actually, I'm going to swagger the Zapdos. I'm going to Swords Dance. We got to get offensive momentum back, and so we're going to need a little bit of uh, luck on our side. I'm wondering if the Conqueror is going to be comfortable here with the Swagger. Um, it's obviously not Lum, so he's not just going to get some random free boost, but the Guts boost is already... We've already dealt it. Uh, I'm wondering if he doesn't think the Scissor is going to protect... So, Zapdos going out. What is that? Not Kangaskhan. Landorus. Okay, well. Have fun with your plus two. Oh. Lots of good switching here. This is a nice core. I feel like we're about to get our ass handed to us. Uh, or we might need a little bit of hacks in our favor, to be honest, to come back. He's just... The core, the core is really strong against what I brought. He's got the Zapdos for the... the Scizor, he's got the Guts boosted Conkleder right now. Uh, we got the full para though, so that's nice. That's nice. Um, the Landris is powered up, but it's not the end of the world. Um, I could charm the Landris to put it back to where it's at. So it doesn't KO me with a rock slide. And then, uh, what do I need to get rid of here? It's probably a salt vest conkleder. Let's do a nice bullet punch this Landorus. Let's make it, let's become a threat. Let's, 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 let's put in the KO range relatively soon. Um, we're going to have a problem with this Conkleder, that's for sure, but... Boom! Okay, that did pretty decent damage. That did pretty good damage. And uh, that's at what? Plus two? No, that's at plus one. He's going to U-turn. Uh, we're probably going to get KO'd. Okay, so the charm didn't help that much. But that means he's going to be within bull punch range. But that means if he punches me with Conkelder, Scissor's down. And that's not great. His Kangaskhan's coming out. I, I'm liking, I'm liking his uh, little thing going on here. I like it a lot. Although if it, if it's not Scarf on the Landorus, I don't really know what it is. Uh, I don't have a great way to take out Conkelder without Togekiss. So we're gonna have to. Uh, I definitely have to lock into Rock Slide. Um, I definitely wish I had Power Up Punch. Because Power Punch could, could potentially get us back in this game with a little bit of luck. But, um, yeah, we don't have that. Going to double-edge the Conkleder because we haven't seen it protect yet. I'm going to lock into Rock Slide and hope for some flinches. But I, I think this is this was over kind of a couple turns ago. It was over a little while ago. Um, 
yeah, without a, a little bit of luck, we weren't going to come back into it. It's just like the, the, the core of, I don't know, this Conqueror, we just don't have a way to deal with it. I should have brought Togekiss instead of the Bisharp. He's going to switch out in the Landorus. He'll try to intimidate us. He knows he can't switch anymore. Yeah. Um, let's just see if we can't get lucky, though. And then Thunder Waving this Conkleder was a big face palm. Should have charmed that first turn instead of Thunder Wave. I think that's the biggest takeaway here. Come on, Rock Slide. Show me how godlike you are. I am faster than this Landorus, though, so that means he will go down um, next turn. If he doesn't switch it out, he might just switch it out, but to get another Intimidate on us. Uh, big damage. If he punches, it's over for sure. We need to get the... Okay, yeah, it's over. Boom, there's no way we're going to survive that. Okay, wow. Get manhandled. Uh, that must be... One of those two is Assault Vest. I don't know what the other one is. But... Yeah, well... Alright, let's, let's try to take something out with us. It's probably just going to mock Punch. Yes, we got a Pokemon. But man, that was not even close. That was not even close. The thing is, our way to take out Conkledur is what? Obviously Togekiss, right? The problem with that, though, is that he's got both a Landorus and he's got a Zapdos. Which is super problematic. I'm trying to think, what is a great way of taking out these guys? Um... My own Conkelder, Assault Vest Conkelder, would be great against this. It would be very helpful. Let me think what else did I have here to use. Because um, I can't Thunder, you can't Thunder Wave the Zapdos, you can't Thunder Wave the Landorus, and Conkelder wants to be Thunder Wave. So it's it's brilliant, it really is. He, like, it's brilliantly constructed because you can't, he saw Meowstic, he saw the Thunder Wave, he just brought everything that, you know, didn't, you know, could be Thunder Waved, or, you know, can't be thunder waved and just played around it so that's a good step except for kangaskhan obviously but he protected it from that until the the meowstic went down uh, it's fake out kangaskhan too now we see uh we're just going through the motions oh yeah give me a crit no no no. He's running the power-up punch, Kangaskhan. Nice. I honestly think, unless you need to... I, Because, uh, what? Power-up... Low kick gets the one-shot on Bisharp pretty clearly. And on Heatran, right? At least some. Um, and Tyranitar, then. But I think power-up punch... I think I want to put that back on the team. That was a good game. I'm, there's just... Very clearly put us into perspective... Um, we brought the Scizor because he had the Sylveon, so he also had a Sylveon and he had a Moongus. And so, there you go. So look, look, look. What are the threats? What are the, the first thing that I said was a threat to his team would what, be an Assault Vest Conkleder. His back two deal with that amazingly. A f powerful fairy and a redirecting poison type. Well built. That's actually really well built. I might actually write that down for later testing or something. Because that was actually um, pretty cool and it uses a couple of the core guys that I like to use. Kangaskhan, Landorus... Um, the thing is, Intimidate will mess him up a little bit. Well, he's got two two more special attackers in the back. Um, yeah, that was pretty cool. So I'm going to go put on Power Up Punch on Kangaskhan. Um, is there going to be a way for us to get around that? I'm going to go put on Bisharp instead of Scizor. Because Bisharp can stave off that Intimidate, which is, you know, how many physical guys do we have on the team? Landorus, Terrakion, Kangaskhan, Scizor. Then we have what? Togekiss. And we have Meowstic. So but Meowstic is not even a threat. Okay. Yeah. I'm going to go put on Bisharp. I'm going to put on Power Up Punch. Um, and we're going to move forward with that in mind. But that was a pretty good game. I think that's a good way. That's how you learn. You got to learn from your losses, obviously. But um, that was really well constructed. And I'm not really sure what I would do to take that out off the top of my head here. But, um, yeah. Oh, you know, a fast ice type next to a Togekiss might do it. Uh, that would actually really, really, really help. Or, um, 
Yeah, I wish I got to see more of that Zapdos moveset to see if he was running HP Ice or, I mean, Heat Wave. He's probably running HP Ice um, and Tailwind and stuff. But yeah, so that was actually really good. Um, a really good chance to try to improve the team. I'm going to go make those changes and I will come back and I'll see you guys in the next episode and we'll see if we can't, if they if they don't improve, you know, what's what's going on. So yeah, thanks so much guys and I'll see you guys next time.